hello my great and wonderful viewers welcome back to life watch tv for those of you coming across this channel for the very first time speakers will like the the king of boys of the entire africa and know quite a number of you are used to me on this channel and uh, for those of you coming across the channel for the very first time ensure you click the rest of the button in your video screen and don't forget to click the notification bell like i said that whenever we drop a new update a new video youtube will notify you we are straight to this to this update the update i have for you today is the fact that apostle justice Suleiman, you know it was some couples of days ago that the notion attack against him and quite a number of people were killed you understand so um we're still on the saga and the update i have for you right now is the fact that justice Suleiman have list out the names of those people that were responsible for the attack so I'd like you to stay connected to the end of this video to really know the names of those people that are responsible for this. Stay connected. We're coming back again. Welcome you back to Lajibong Wash TV. I got a bad news for you today. The of religious gossip. But you should believe the fight for Mohammed. What is happening in the Christian door? Turn down. As questions continue to rise about the Friday, October 21st attack on Apostle John C. Suleiman convoy, clues have emerged that those who sponsored the attack were also behind the 2017 incidents involving him. Apostle John C. Suleiman gave the due and those responsible for his attack was said he was not ready to mention their names so they won't just come out to deny knowledge of the attack according to Suleiman in a short video those who lied against him in 2017 sent hired assassin after him that was what apostle justice Suleiman said he said he was in the vehicle that was attacked by the hoodlums alongside his wife and children but legit ng cannot authoritatively confirm why the apostle traced his attack to 2017 as he was silent about the particular 2017 incident he was referring to. You know, when the 2017 incident came up then, Suleiman did not give a response. And the 2017 incident that we are dating back to is the Stephano October incident, you understand? So, um, during that time, Suleiman did not give a response to the, um, to the um, alleged, what they alleged him of. But right now, he's now referring to the 2017 incident that it is the people that were responsible for the 2017 incident that were responsible for the attack that was not against them. However, one major event that almost shattered Suleiman's ministry in 2017 was his alleged relationship with one Stephanie Otobo, a Nigerian singer residing in Canada. Legit NG reported that since the Stephanie incident of 2017, the apostle had been involved in other controversial issues. You know, ranging from alleged relationship with other ladies to some serious and controversial political comment and all of that. You understand? So, Suleiman's case with Stephanie Octobu, Stephanie Octobu in Nigeria, singer who is based in Canada, at the 2017 accused Apostle Joseph Suleiman that the man of God allegedly impregnated her and dumped her. You understand? That was the agitation of um, Stephanie Octobu, then that was what. He, he, he was accusing Suleiman of. So October claimed she was into a relationship with the pastor and had traveled far and wide with him with the promise that they were going to get married. You understand? October had then claimed the apostle council in his marital status from her. Hence, she had no knowledge the apostle was married. You understand? According to October, he said, she said, pending the time that Suleiman was having an affair with her, she did not have, you understand? She didn't have um, the knowledge of the fact that Suleiman is already having a wife. But do you think that is true? In a petition through her lawyer, Festus Kiamon, October, who goes by the stage name Kimura, alleged that the founder and senior pastor of Omega Fire Ministry. I started a romantic relationship with her in Canada in 2015. The allegation led to the release of a photograph of Suleiman in an alleged romantic chat with Otobu. And image Suleiman dismissed as fake and photoshopped at a point. You know, 
that was last year when Otobu came out with some songs, a hit song for Jesse Suleiman regarding the app stuff that is going to be between she and Suleiman. You understand? And regarding the saga, she came up with a song then that was last year, and she came up with some picture of um, she and Suleiman, and you know, she was not dressed up chatting with Suleiman, showing Suleiman some private sector of her body instant. So that was what the photo, um, that was what the picture that she faces online talks about. You know, at a point Stephanie's mother went to the church to apologize to the pastor where she begged that the pastor forgives her daughter. Stephanie's inconsistent allegation, you know, Stephanie also came out a few years later to admit that she was sent by some powerful politicians to deal with Apostle Suleiman. In a viral video, she regretted her action and pleaded for the Apostle's forgiveness. She claimed she fell into the hands of powerful politicians and pastors who manipulated her for the purpose of bringing down the man of God. She also claimed she was paid a huge amount of money to get the job done. You understand? But Tobo own, own confession again. That was last year. Tobo came out with some video evidence, with some recording rather. No video evidence like audio evidence where she, she recorded um you know you you saw those things online in the early half of this year october returned with a fresh allegation saying she went to the apostles church to apologize because she was under duress interviewed by a blogger Maureen Badijo, Otobo says she made a confession because she was tired of the stress of the court case, explaining that she made a confession in Suleiman's church under duress as she was already tired of the court processes. Particularly with the transfer of the case from an alleged incorruptible judge to another, she alleged that Frank Shaibu, Suleiman's media ID, approached her and promised her that um, the case would be settled if she made the open confession. The unknown politician behind Suleiman's audit, despite the many references to some powerful political beliefs, to be behind Stephanie Otobo. No single name has been mentioned. Why Otobo failed to mention the names of the said politician? Apostle Suleiman also could not refer to any known politician behind his crisis since 2017. The controversial killing of the suspected attacker. Suleiman's allegation that some person were behind this attack was further justified when he alleged that the suspect arrested on Friday evening following his attack was allegedly killed by the police in order to cover up for some people. You know, that, that just happened just this Friday. Um, I mean, last week Friday. In a tweet, the acclaimed man of God said, Those who attacked him were not kidnappers as alleged but hired as a sin. He said that the killings of one of the prime suspects by the police have proved that some persons were trying to cover up, you understand? So that was what Sulema tweeted. He said, they weren't kidnapped. He was caught and handed over and the police um, and the police killed him immediately while killing him on the spot. Who is trying to cover up traces? The pressure asked. The police were quick to react to the allegation first. First was the denial when it stated that all suspected all suspects were killed in scene of the incidents but the outgoing commissioner of police in the state, Abu Tiaros, ordered the immediate withdrawal of the DPO for the briefing following the allegation. That was a statement by the force. Yes, sir. Political commentary pushing Suleiman out, Apollo Suleiman appeared not to be in the good book of politicians because of his con constant opposition to poly politics. They are considered obnoxious. Recently, the man of God has become very vocal on political events across the country. He has spoken against sundry issues, including the controversial Muslim Muslim ticket, alleged northern agenda, full line attack on Boko Haram. Analysts believe it is difficult to pinpoint the direction this wave of attack is coming from. James Obekwa, a political analyst, told Legit Engine that Suleiman is only guessing as he cannot be sure where the attack is coming. That was what he said. So what do these guys think? Do you think it's really um the people that were alleging Suleiman and in 2017 that were responsible for the attack and all of that as Suleiman um, accused them? Do you think it's the Nigerian politicians that were 
trying to use Stephen Botoko in 2017. Possibly, maybe they were trying to use that in 2017. Do you think they are really the one that are responsible for the attack? Drop your comment and the comment section on this video. Just for us to feel what you think, just drop your comment. I'm going on there to get another training method for you. Speaking here is a boy like you call the king of boys of the entire Africa. So, start to like or watch TV. Guess what? See my next video. That is all I have for you for now, my great and wonderful people. Speak as a boy like you call the king of boys of the entire Africa. I'm extending to the world now. I'm going on there to get another training method for you as usual. And try to follow me on all my social media handles on Facebook and like watch TV. And I like for entertainment. Guess what? See my next video. <laughs>